So on these small engines, like a Predator, they have a resistor in the spark plug wire boot on the coil that can retard timing a couple degrees after you start getting up there in the RPM range, maybe three or 4,000 RPM. So to solve that problem, I picked up this high performance coil and wire without the resistor. So anyway, I'm gonna take this bike out for zero to 30 and top speed run with the stock coil. And then I'll swap the stock coil out for the performance coil with no resistor. And we'll see if a couple degrees timing has any effect or any noticeable effect on performance on a mini bike. So this bike has a 3.52 ratio, 17 on the clutch and 60 on the sprocket. So it's a total highway gear. So it's not gonna be that quick from zero to 30, but we might get a little bit of top speed out of it. We'll see. Zero to 30 stock coil. Actually, this bike gets to zero to 30 pretty quick. Those small tires and lightweight. 4.49. So let me see if I can back that up. Second attempt, zero to 30, stock coil. See what I did for the second attempt. 4.38, 4.38, so it's really consistent. Let me do a top speed now. See what it did for top speed. Felt like it was kind of peeking out right there. 60.70. Okay, bike did a top speed of 6.70, almost 61 miles an hour. That's that's pretty fast for that little bike. And then 4.38, zero to 30. So let me swap out that resistor coil for the non-resistor coil and we'll see if it makes any difference. All right, let me swap out this coil. Okay, so there we go, non-resistor coil. If it doesn't run good, at least it looks good. Gotta beat 60.70 and 4.380 to 30. Zero to 30, non-resistor coil, have to beat 4.38. OK, 
Okay, see what it did with the first 0 to 30 non resistor coil. Wow, 4.14. I don't know if that was a fluke or not, but that was a lot quicker. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can back that up. Second attempt, zero to 30, non-resistor coil. Okay, see what it did for the second attempt. 4.32, so it actually was quicker both times. All right, let me do top speed now and see if I can beat the 60.7, 60.70. To see what it did uh 58.58 seems like it was a little bit slower let me try that again just to make sure that i didn't let off too early Fifty nine point two five as a spec slower, actually. So with the non resistor ignition coil, the bike got a little bit quicker, a little more snappy from zero to 30 and it lost a little bit of top speed, which makes sense because normally when you add ignition timing, it will make the bike a little more snappy. So with the stock coil, the bike did 4.49 and 4.38, 0 to 30, and 60.70 top speed. And then with the non-resistor coil, you got a little bit more snappy, 4.14 and 4.32. So a few tenths of a second quicker from 0 to 30. And then I did a couple top speed runs. The first one, 58.58. I did it again just to make sure that I went long enough and did 59.25, so it lost a little over a mile per hour. Ignition timing does make a difference. With the stock resistor coil, you're backing off ignition timing a little bit at top speed, high RPM, so I could see how it would gain top speed. But then your trade-off would be picking up a little bit of quickness from zero to 30 at a lower RPM.